Hi, welcome to CSCMA. In this video, we will going to cover system model, process failures, classifications uh, and applications of the agreement protocol within the short period of time. So let's start. And if you're not subscribed yet to CSMA, please do subscribe. Thank you. So what are this the agreement protocol? Uh, if we segregate these two words, agreement and the protocol, agreement. Agreement is the term in which two or more parties agreed on a, uh, to reach on a common goal. And the second one is the protocol. Protocol is basically a set of rules. So if you combine both of these words, agreement, protocol, so we say that the agreement protocol is the uh, rules where two or more parties uh, mutually agreed on a common goals to achieve something. Yeah. So in distributed systems, so we know that in distributed system, multiple systems are work as a single system. Uh, in case, uh, what if one system get failed? One system get failed or it has any fault then how these systems uh, data managers will uh, decide so we need to commit uh, or about the transactions in this case agreement protocol is help so agreement protocols defines all the processors reaching an agreement to commit or about any transaction or the process that is going on okay uh, and also the non faulty processors must have to reach on a com common goal that means all the non faulty all the non faulty systems uh, must provide a single value uh, like as other non faulty systems so here we have the system model for the agre agreement protocol basically in a system model um, we define the and that uh, all the systems that are in the in the distributed environment or systems uh, faulty in environments uh, faulty processors are m and uh, non faulty processors are n so all these uh, processors must have to communicate by passing message messages to one another and they have to be agreed on a single value by using the common values, these systems data managers can def decide whether we have to dis uh, commit the transactions or about. So here we have the basic terms that are used in the agreement protocol. First one is synchronous computations. Synchronous computers basically works in a lock manner. Firstly, it receives a message, then first lock, right? Then according to the message received, second lock and at the last it pass this message to the another process that the third one so it works in a synchronous manner so one by one step by steps and it performs computations by passing messages from one process to another process but in a second one in a asynchronous computations there is no any lock system such as synchronous computations it can resend or receives messages anytime to perform any kind of computations and there is no boundations such as synchronous or the lock system in asynchronous computing and here we have two more terms that are the authenticated messages and non-authenticated messages authenticated messages also known as the signed messages uh, means so when a process received a message from another server uh, sorry, it is uh, from an, uh, another process. It should know that uh, it is authenticated message mm, and it has also the information about the owner. Like when any faulty, uh, faulty uh, processes send any message, then uh, another faulty uh, process must receive that message and there won't be any compromise on the messages and on. A non non authenticated message also known as the oral message and it it may it messages may be lost some data or may be compromised here yeah and here we have the models of process failures in agreement protocol first one is the crash fault second is the omission fault and third one is the malicious fault in crash faults when a processors stop functioning 
it never resumes operations from where it stopped earlier and second on a omission fault process omits to send message to some process omits means basically processes um, miss to send message uh, they are the communicating one or uh, another or process uh, uh, they are communicating one or another by passing message or we can say that, that they process any kind of operation of the computers uh, computations using these messages omission fault any processors uh, may miss to send message to one other proce processors the third one is the malicious fault in mal the malicious fault also known as the byzantine faults it behaves randomly and arbitrary means it can sometimes send messages sometimes not it, we can't be sure about that this uh, processor will send message or not they uh, behave randomly like yeah and here we have the three performance matrices that we use to measure that our agreement protocol is working as expected first one is time time is the basically the interval or the taken time to reach an agreement under a protocol and second one is the message traffic as we know that these processors communicate and process any computations by passing message to one another then the message traffic is measured by the number of messages exchanged to reach an, a particular agreement how many messages are has been exchanged from one process to another then another to another like that yeah and third one is a storage overhead measured it measured as the amount of information that need to be stored at the processor during the execution of a protocol now here we have the classifications of the agreement protocol we can classify the protocols uh, the agreement protocol in the three types first one is byzantine agreement second one is cons consensus agreement protocol and third one is the interactive consistency on a byzantine agreement process one process initiates a value then it's passed to another process then that process passes it to another uh, next and by so on and they finally agreed on a single value and in consensus agreement protocol any process can initiate the value that in in which value we are going to agreed on I suppose that uh, byzantine process p1 process uh, decide that we will be agreed on the value a uh, but in the on consensus any process can give any value that we are going to agreed on a b c and we will take all the values and whenever a majority of any values uh, then agreement will be on that value so he consensus uh, agreement protocol also uses the single value like as byzantine agreement and the third type of the agreement protocol is the interactive consistency it also performs same as like uh, consensus all process can all processors can initiate the value and uh, they agreed on a vector of value or we can say the set of common values that that are the measure in all the processors okay at the last we have the applications of the agreement protocol basically agreement protocol are used in a distributed system environment to synchronize the clocks fault tolerant clock synchronizations it helps systems uh, reach on a common mutual agreement to perform the atomic or uh, to perform atomic commit all the dvs okay thank you thanks for watching and you can also find the more details from the descriptions or pdf for the same